Welcome to our reading group. I'm really looking forward to working together. And these lessons we're going to focus on big words. These are words that can get pretty tricky to read and we start seeing more of them as we move into the upper grades. So we have only a few rules for when we work together, but these rules are important. So your job is to try hard, to listen carefully so that you understand what we're doing, also, you want to make sure that you treat each other with respect. And sometimes we are going to be reading some big words that might be difficult. So we have to support and encourage one another. And finally, we want to have fun. Okay, so we're going to be working hard, but we're going to do fun activities as well. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, let's... Um, so when you say, like, hard words... You'll find out. We'll be able to do it. I, yeah, I know you're going to be able to do it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. These are the activities that we're going to focus on in our lesson together today. All right, we're ready to get started. So the first activity of each lesson is a warm-up. So in our warm-up, we want to get our brains warmed up and ready to, de to read. And every day we will read vowel sounds and we'll read words that help our brains to get ready for reading activities. So I'm going to hold up a card with a letter on it and I want you to tell me what sounds this letter says. So let's look at this first one. What sounds does this letter say? Ah. Okay, good. What sounds does this letter say? E. Yeah. Okay, good. What sounds does this letter say? Ah. I. I. This letter says I. I. Mm -hmm. What sound does this letter say? O. Oh. Ah or O, oh, yeah. And then what about this one? Uh. Good. Uh. You did great. So for some of those, you made more than one sound. Who knows what we call these types of letters? You can just shout it out. A, E, I, N, U, vowel. They are vowels. That's exactly right. But today we're going to talk about one kind of sound that vowels can make, and these are short vowel sounds. So what sound does this letter say? Ah. It says ah, like apple. Ah. What sound? Ah. Good. What about this one? Eh. Eh. It says eh, like elephant eh. What sound? Eh. Okay. Eh. eh. Yeah. Like igloo. What sound? Eh. eh. What about this one? Oh. Ah, this says ah like octopus. What sound? Ah. And then this one says ah. Uh. Uh, yes, this one says ah. Uh. Great reading. I love your nice, clear vowel sounds. Now let's take a look at some words that have these short vowel sounds in them. These words are kind of silly because they're not real words, but we can read them like real words. These are called nonsense words. Okay, so I want you to read these words. Let's go ahead and read. Jeb. 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 Pab, rent, tab, graph, jost, lut, lut, mm -hmm. this, good, test, nam, good, sliv, sliv, yes, this says sliv, good, pum, mm -hmm. hold on one second, sorry, my cards got lom. stuck, lom, good, sleg, nice, gant, mm -hmm. Pinned. Pinned, yes. This says pin. What word? Pin. Good. Vol. Vol, good. Calm. Nice job. That was excellent reading. Okay, now we're going to move on to the affix bank. Okay, so big words can sometimes be tricky to read. One of the best ways to read big words is to pay attention to the smaller word parts. That can help us read much bigger words. So I'm going to write a word. Okay. This word says unfriendly. What word? Unfriendly. When I look at this word, I see the word friend right here. So this is my base word. Uh, this word part here is, yes, what does it say? You don't uh, have to raise your hands. You can just uh, shout it out. It's a prefix. So this is un, and it's at the beginning of the word. What is this one? Lee. Yes, and it's at the end of the word. So... These are smaller word parts that can help us read bigger words. So you already guessed it. You said this at the beginning of the word is called a 
prefix. Yes, because it's at the beginning of the word. And then what is this? Suffix. And it's a oh, suffix sorry. because it's at the end of the word. Prefixes and suffixes are called affixes. What are they called? Affixes. Yes, it's called an affix. That's exactly right. So in our lessons, we are going to be keeping track of all of the new prefixes and suffixes that we learned. Okay, so we're going to keep these organized in our affix bank. So I'm going to show you what this looks like first and tell you about this. This is called an affix bank, and this is where we will organize the information that we learn. So you can see on this side, we will have our prefixes. So any prefixes we learn will write here. And then on this side, we're going to write suffixes. suffixes. Exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and give you each one of these now. And if you will please turn to the page, it's page two. There you go. Page two. Okay. And I'm gonna have you just write with one of these in there. So, well, we're not writing just yet, but when it's time, we'll use that, okay? So we're gonna keep on going. So in our lesson, we are going to learn about different prefixes. So I'm gonna write this first one, okay? D-I-S, okay? So this says dis, okay? So you can see right here that I have put this dash. I put this dash here to tell me that this is a prefix and that the word would come after it. This would be before. But if I wrote this, this would tell me what? Yeah. It's a suffix because the word would come before it. Right, because there's a dash right there. Okay, excellent. Okay, so this affix, dis, means not or opposite. What does it mean? Not or opposite. Exactly. And I can think of a word that starts with dis. One that I one word that I can think of is dishonest. What's the word? Dishonest. Exactly. So this means not being honest or fair. So if I told my teacher I did my homework, would I be honest? No, I would be dishonest. If I didn't do it, I would be dishonest. Like if I told my teacher my dog ate my homework, would that be honest? No. No, that would be dishonest. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and write this on the left side of our affix bank because this is a prefix. All right, nice job. Okay, now we're going to talk about one more. This is prefix un, okay? And this means not. What is it? Not. Yeah, it means not. And all you have to write is your prefix. Exactly. So this means not. Yep, you just need the prefix. Exactly. No, you're okay. So it can also mean opposite. So if I wrote this and I said unhappy, what would that tell me? Just, you can just shout it out. Not, not happy. Exactly, that I'm unhappy. That's exactly right. So let's add that to our affix bank to the this side. So you're just going to write the un because that is the prefix. And we actually do have one more quick one. So we're just going to write this one. So this is S-U-B, sub. And this can mean under or below. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you uh, a sentence with this, and the sentence is, if I went to Antarctica, the temperature might be sub-zero, sub right? And what would that tell me? What would that mean? That it's under or below? Under zero. Under or below freezing. You can just tell me. You don't have to raise okay, your hand. Another it's okay. word for yeah. this is subtract. Well, that would, be, that would be a word we would make. Yeah, I like your examples. Subway, subtract, exactly. So go ahead and write sub on your affix bank. You're writing it on the left side. Good job. 
Okay, so now we're moving into the part of our lesson that is called word play. So you can just go ahead and set your markers down for now. During this part of our lesson, we're going to play games with words. And one job is to build and take apart big words so that we can become better readers. Each day we're gonna introduce five spotlight words. And we call them spotlight words because we're highlighting them in this lesson. And then we can practice using them and we might see them later in our lesson. So first I'm going to read them to you. Honest, continue, able, merge, human. Let's read them together. Honest, Honest continue, continue, able, able merge, human. human. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna put these right here. So now we're going to use our spotlight words to help us with our game. And this is called build a word. Okay, so these are gonna be big words because I'm putting together different parts to make a big word. So here is my first one, okay? And we just talked about this word. What is this word? You can just say it. Honest. This word is honest. And what does it mean? Honest. Oh, to uh, be right. Truthful honest. or fair. Exactly. To be truthful or fair. When someone says that they are honest or fair, we know that that means they're doing the right thing. Like maybe right. your mom said, always be honest, honest. right? Exactly. So if we want to change this word, we can add something to it, okay? So I'm going to add a new part to this word. It's from our affix bank. We just talked about it, okay? Dishonest. Yes, so this says dishonest. dishonest, dishonest. Okay, so what do we think this means? Maybe not honest. honest, exactly, not because dis fair. means not. not, right? So if I'm being dishonest, I am not being truthful. Okay. Not truthful. Yes. So does anybody want to uh, give me one example of, yeah. Um, you mean like one of these? Anyway, so dishonest, how could you be dishonest? What if you, oh. um, so. You told your teacher that you're. I told my teacher that my I had my, ate my, 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 my my dog ate my homework exactly. and I really didn't and do that my And that is homework. being dishonest. Exactly. Okay, so we're gonna keep on going. So now you're going to need a whiteboard for this part. Everybody, here's your whiteboard. You've got a whiteboard marker. You can just set it on top of your affix bank. All right. Okay, so we're gonna have dis on our board. Is everybody ready? So you've got dis on your board like this. And I'm going to give you a new word. Here's the word. This word is continue. 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 Yeah, well, continue, exactly. So I want you to write dis and then I want you to write continue. Okay? So this says discontinue. Continue means to go on or keep going. So we're going to use the, yeah. So this means to keep going. Continue. So what does discontinue? Who You can just shout it out. Not continue. Exactly. Nice job. This means not continue. So let's think about this in a sentence. How could we use discontinue in a sentence? Yes. Uh, shout it out. Um, let's just say that you're like doing a race mm -hmm. and you got injured. You, you discontinue. Very nice. That's excellent. Okay. Go ahead and erase this for me, please. Going to erase that. Nice job. Okay. Now we are going to use this word. What is this word? Able. Able. So this word able means to be able to do something or have the ability to. So please look at your affix bank. We're going to add a prefix to the word able, but this needs to be a real word. So what prefix could we add? Unable. Very nice. And if you have another example, you can write the other example. You don't have to write that one, as long as it's a real word. Yes, exactly. Okay, everybody, let's see what our words are. So what did you write, Jeremiah? Unable. Okay, Amanda, what did you write? Unable. Okay, Maggie? Unable. All right, unable. So what do we think able means? If this means to be able to do something, what do you think unable means? Unable means not able. Exactly, because it means opposite or not. Excellent work. You can go ahead and erase your board. I'm gonna set these out of our way. I'm gonna take those whiteboards too and set them out of the way for us. So I'll take those for now and just put them over here. Thank you so much, thank you so much. All right, now we are starting on something that we call beat the clock. All right, so beat the clock is a game 
And in this game, you're going to break apart big words. And after we take a look at the words, you're going to keep track of how fast you read them. So you need in your workbook to turn to page, I believe it is page nine. Yes, we're on page nine. Everybody find page nine? It looks like this. Yeah? Okay, so you can use your marker for this, but you don't need it right now. You can just close the marker for now. So everybody found it? Yep. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to look at the prefixes. So when I look at this first word, I see a prefix. Does anybody else see a prefix? What is it? Dis. This is dis, exactly. So what we're going to do is circle that prefix so you can use your marker, and you're just going to circle the prefix. Now, our job is to go through all of this together and circle all the prefixes on all of the words. Are you ready? Here yes. we go. We're all doing it together. Okay, what is the next one? Re. re and then un. un and then re. re. What's next? Pre. Nice. D. D. Non. Un. Dis. dis in. in. Good. In. in re. re. In. Miss. Re. re dis. Pre. Pre. pre miss. In. Miss. Non. non. Good job. Miss. Sub. Excellent work, everybody. Okay, so now that we have circled all of those, we are going to start at the top and read down all together. We're going to read all together. With, you might want to follow along with your finger. You ready? Yeah. This. The, well, actually, first, we're going to read the prefixes. I needed to tell you that. First, we're going to read the prefixes. Dis, dis re, re, un, re, re pre, pre, di, di non, un, dis, dis in, in, in re, re in, miss, re, dis, pre, pre, miss, in, miss, non, miss, sub. Now we're going to read all the words. So you should follow along with your finger. We're going to read the whole word. Here we go. Disrupt, reject, unwise, rejoin, pre-write, decode, non-stick, unclear, dishonest, inhabit, injure, Rename, invalid, invalid mistake, mistake, reject, dis disgust, prepare, prepare prevent, prevent, mishap, invalid, mistype, mistype non-metal, non mislead, mislead subdue. subdue. Nice job, everybody. So now it's going to be your turn to read these words individually. We're going to start with Jeremiah. And I'm going to time you, yes. And you want to make sure you use your finger to help you track the words as you read them. After you finish, you will write down your time at the bottom, right there where it says read one. Everybody else should be following along with your finger so that you also are following the words. Okay, so Jeremiah. Are we trying to do it as fast as we, we can? We are going to be reading these words quickly. We're going to read through all the words. So you should definitely read along. So Jeremiah, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay, go ahead and begin. Disrupt, reject, unwise, rejoin, pre-white, decut, unstick, I mean non-stick, unclear, dishonest, inhabit, injure, rename, invalid, mistake, reject, disgust, prepare, prevent, Mishap, invade, invalid, mis, mis, invalid, mistake, mistype, non met, mistype, non metal, mislead, subdue. Nice job. So you're going to write 27 seconds right there. Okay, Emmanuel, are you ready to go? Yes. And go. Disrupt, reject, unwise, rejoin, pre write, pre write, decode, non stick, unclear, dishonest, inhabit, injure, rename, invalid. Mistake, reject, reject, discuss, prepare, prevent, mishap, 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 invalid, mistype, non metal, mislead, subdue. Nice job, 27 seconds. You're going to write that right there. Okay, Maggie, you ready to go? And go. Disrupt, reject, unwise, rejoin, pre write, decode, non stick, unclear, dishonest, inhabit, injure, un rename, invalid, mistake, Readjust. Reject. Okay. Reject. Dis discuss. Prepare. Prevent. Mishap. Invalid. Mistype. Non-metal. 
mislead in subdue. Nice, 23 seconds. Okay, we're going to go for one more round. Everybody did such a great job. So on this round, we're trying to beat the clock. So we're trying to be beat our previous time so that we can put a sticker on our chart. We're gonna get started. Jeremiah, you ready to go? Sure. Okay. Disrupt, reject, unwise, rejoin, pre-write, decode, non-stick, unclear, dishonest, inhabit, injure, rename, invalid, mistake, reject, disgust, prepare, prevent, mishap, invalid, mistype, non-metal, mislead, subdue. You did a great job. You beat your time. 22 seconds. Okay, Emmanuel, you ready to go? Yes. And go ahead and begin. Disrupt, reject, unwise, rejoin, pre-write, decode, non-stick, unclear, dishonest, inhabit, inhabit, injure, rename, invalid, mistake, reject, disgust, prepare, prevent, mishap, invalid, mistype, non-metal, mislead, subdue. You beat your time. 21 seconds. Excellent job. Maggie, you ready to go? Yes. And begin. Disrupt, reject, unwise, rejoin, pre-write, decode, non-stick, unclear, dishonest, inhabit, injure, rename, invalid, mistake, reject, discuss, prepare, prevent, mishap, invalid, mistype, non-metal, in, 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 mislead. mislead, subdue. Nice job, 18 seconds. Everybody beat their time. Great work. So you will get to put a uh, start on your galaxy charts. Okay, so that is right here. Okay, so on this page, page three, I'm gonna give everybody a start to put. So page three, you're gonna put it right here where it says start. Here's a sticker for you to put. You ready? Yes, I will. Okay. Okay, sticker for you. Everybody's gonna get UT orange, sticker for you. And sticker for you. You're gonna put it at the start mark. Excellent reading, everybody. Nice job. Okay. We're going to move on to our next section, and this next section is called Write Word. So today we're going to practice writing some words, and when we do Write Word, we'll always start with the affixes that we learned today. So you can go ahead and turn back to page two so that you have that. All right, before we start, it's important to remember what a syllable is because we are going to be asking you, or I'm going to be, to writing to write some words with more than one syllable. So the very first thing I think we should do is talk about syllables. So in the word teacher, teacher, how many syllables are there? Two. Two. Teacher, sure. exactly. So I'm gonna have you clap with me for this next one, okay? Our word is forest. Forest. How many syllables? Forest. Two. Two. Two, great. Two. Okay, and then for our next one, it's elephant. Let's clap it together. Elephant. One, two, three, right? Elephant. How many syllables? Three. Three. Nice job, everybody. Y'all are doing great at that. Okay, so first, we're going to do this right word, right word activity. And because we already have the syllable or the uh, prefix dis, we're going to start with this one, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to write this two syllable word, okay? So I'm going to write my prefix. What was my prefix? This. Exactly. And then I'm going to write another word after it. So what do we think this says? Dis. Dis. Play. play. How many syllables is that? D two. Display, right? It's two. two syllables. That is exactly right. Okay, this time I was able to think of a real word, but let's say I could not think of a real word that began with that, and I wrote something like this. Dis nod. nod. Is it two Wait. syllables? Yes. Dis nod is two syllables, but is it a real word? Yes. It's not a real word. It's not. So if I can't think of a real word, that's okay. I can come up with a nonsense word, okay? All right. So um, we are going to focus on a different one now. We're going to use this next prefix. What was the next prefix that we learned? Okay. Uh, okay. Exactly. We learned on. So I'm going to give you your whiteboard. You need your whiteboard marker. There you go. There's your whiteboard. Okay. So I want you to write un. Okay. We're going to write un. And remember, I'm putting this dash here to tell me that this is what? Is this a prefix or a suffix? Uh, uh. Prefix. prefix, right? So I have this dash here, okay? So now it is your turn to come up with a word. 
Okay, I'm gonna write a word, and I want all of you to see if you can write a word as well with the prefix un. Okay, you can go ahead and write it on your board. Okay, yeah. Okay, then I want you to show, I'm gonna show you first, but I want everybody to show the word that they wrote. I wrote the word unclear. Is that more than one syllable? Yes. Okay, what else do we have? Undo. Undo, yes. Unlike. Nice. Unloved. Unlo is that a real word or a nonsense word? I think it's a nonsense word, and that's good. Nonsense words are totally fine. Okay, everybody erase that. We're going to do one more. Okay, we also talked about prefix sub. So everybody write that, and remember, we've got our little dash to tell this. Tell us this is a prefix, and it comes at the beginning of the word. Okay, so can somebody come up with a, a word? Yes. Subway. That's a great one. I'm going to write one. And I want you all to write one. We got a good example of a two syllable word with sub. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I wrote. Submit, submit. Is it more than one syllable? Yes. It is, what else? Subdue. Nice, subdue, Same. subway, subway. Excellent work. Everybody wrote more than one syllable and we used our prefixes that we learned today. You can go ahead and erase. Nice work. All right, I am going to take those whiteboards once again. Hey, thank you so much. Our next part of our lesson is called Speedy Read. That's what we're coming up to next. Okay, I'm gonna show you what this looks like and then you will be finding this as well. So this is what this looks like. It is on page 10 in your workbook, so flip to page 10. So what we're going to do is we are going to read the words together and then we're going to see how many words you can read in 30 seconds. So first we're going to do a choral read. Yeah, that's okay. Do we know what a choral read is? Oh. No. It's where we read together. Okay, so we're going to do a choral read and I want you to follow along with your finger. We're going to read all of the words. So everybody needs their reading finger ready to go. Everybody got their reading finger? Here we go. Yep. Tax, Tax, pen. pen. Bog. Bog. Bog, that one's bog, yeah? Bog. Good. Lit. Lit. Fun. Fun. Basket. Basket. Sunset. Sunset. Common. Common. Picnic. Picnic. Nugget. 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 Tablet. 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 Hold on. Tablet. 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 Happen. Happen. Coffin. Coffin. Pencil. Pencil. Rustic. Rustic. Napkin. Napkin. Velvet. Velvet. Campus. Campus. Fantastic. Redbud. Red Dish. Cheek. Cheek. Whack. Whack. Batch. Batch. Fish, chap. chap, that one's chap, say chap, chap. good, chap. win, itch, wish, chat, chat. chill, chill. Whip. whip, anywhere, milkshake, buckwheat, horseshoe, cheerful, stopwatch, aftershave, aftershave, airbrush. Nice job, everybody. Those are, those are pretty tricky, weren't they? Okay, so now it's going to be your turn to read the words independently. We're gonna see how many words you can read in 30 seconds, and everyone will have a turn to read. I'm gonna use this timer. Okay, Maggie, this time we're going to go ahead and start with you. So remember though, when the person that's reading is reading that other people are listening and following along with their finger. Okay, you're going to read down the page. So, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay, and go. Tax, pen, ball, bog, lit, fun, basket, sunset, common, picnic, nugget, tab tablet, happen, coffin, pencil, rustic, napkin, velvet, campus, fantastic, red bug, red bud, dish, cheek, whack, batch, fish, chap, when, itch, wish, chat, chill, whip, anywhere, milkshake, buckwheat, horseshoe, cheerful, stopwatch, aftershave, airbrush. Nice job. The timer just went off. So you read all of them. You can mark that, that you read all of them. Okay, I'm Emmanuel, you're that. going. You can, so at the um, beginning of your student workbook, on the speedy read chart, you can right now just write it there and then we'll all turn to this and write it. Yeah, that way we're all on the same page and we can follow along while the other person is reading. Yeah. Hold, hold on one second, I'm sorry. This is gonna have to get reset. It's very beepy. Lots of noises. Okay, is everybody going to be listening, reading, following along with their finger? Are you ready to go? Yes. You can begin. 
Tax, pen, bog, lit, fun, basket, sunset, common, picnic, nugget, tablet, happen, coffin, pencil, rustic, napkin, nap, napkin. napkin, velvet, campus, fantastic, red bug, dish, cheek, whack, whack, batch, fish, chat, when, itch, wish, chat, chill, whip, anywhere, milkshake, Buck wheat or shoot cheerful stopwatch after shave. Good, nice job, excellent. So remember, you can just write your number at the bottom, and then we're going to get ready for our next reader. So while Jeremiah reads, everybody else should be following along and pointing. Okay, are you ready? Okay, go. Tax, pen, bog, lit, fun, basket, sunset, common, picnic, nugget, tip. Tablet, happen, coffin, pencil, rustic, napkin, velvet, camp, compass, fantastic, red bud, dish, cheek, whack, bat, bat, batch, fish, chap, win, itch, wish, chat, will, chill, whip, anywhere, milkshake, buckwheat, horseshoe, cheerful, stopwatch, after shave, hairbrush. Hairbrush, nice job. We're gonna count it, you got all the way through. Okay, everybody, I just wanna show you real quickly, word 18 is campus. What's the word? Campus. Campus, word 20 is red bud. What's red, the word? Red, red bud. bud. Okay, and word 35 is buckwheat. What's Buck the word? Buckwheat. Excellent reading, everybody. Okay, now you're going to turn to the page that I mentioned, it's page four, and on lesson one, you're going to write down how many words you wrote, in, or read, sorry, in 30 seconds. So when you write in here, everybody's going to write what number? Because everybody got through them all. 40, yeah. everybody's going to write 40. For lesson one, you're going to write 40. Mm -hmm. You read all of the words, excellent reading. Do you want to read it in all of these? Yeah, just for lesson one. See how it says lesson one? So you just write how many words you read. And then in the next lessons, you'll write down the same thing. All right, good job, everybody. So now we're going to sentence reading next. So you will need your workbook. Okay, so we are going to read some sentences together. Please turn to page 11. Okay, it looks like this. Page 11 in our workbook. Okay, we are going to read these together. First, we're going to do what we call an echo read. Who knows what an echo read is? Yeah, what is it? When you read for different people. Well, first I'm going to read the sentence and then you're going to be my echo and you're going to read the sentence. Are you ready? You should follow along with your finger as we go. Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Sam was dis... So hold on, I'm gonna read it first and then you'll read it because you're my echo. Sam was dishonest about submitting his homework to the teacher. Sam, Sam was dishonest about submitting his homework to the teacher. I was unable to find the sub-zero freezer my mom told me about. I was unable to find the sub-zero freezer my mom told me about. Okay, so we don't have to read super fast. You can take your time. So the toy boat became submerged under the water when the wave crashed over it. The toy boat became submerged under the water when the wave crashed over it. Yeah, let's use our finger to help us. The store wanted to discontinue selling the video game because they were unable to sell enough copies. The store wanted to discontinue selling the video game because they were unable to sell enough copies. Yes, the coach was not fair. He treated the players on the team unequally. The coach was not fair. He treated the players on the team unequally. She tried to disconnect the computer when it was unable to work. She tried to disconnect the computer when it was unable to work. Okay, so let's look at that word again. Disconnect. Yes, good. Luke did not want to disappoint his parents when he told them he lost his toy submarine. Luke did not want to disappoint his parents when he told them he lost his toy submarine. Maria's jacket was stuck. She could not unzip it when she arrived at school. Maria's jacket was stuck. She could not unzip it when she arrived at that school. Okay, now you're going to do a whisper read. Who knows what a whisper read is? Yeah, you can just say it. When you whisper, whisper by yourself. Yes, so everybody should be following along with their finger as they whisper read. And I want to be able to hear your whisper read of your sentences. Let's go ahead and begin. 
Sam was dishonest about submitting his homework to the teacher. I was unable to find a set of zero frames in my pocket now. The toy, the toy broke because it was under the water when the wave crashed over. The store wanted to discontinue. I, I want to be able to hear the words, okay? You don't have to rush. You can take your time. Disconnect, yeah, good. Okay, excellent. Everyone did a really good job with reading those sentences. I noticed some of our spotlight words in those sentences and I'm going to put our spotlight words out so that you can see them. Did anybody find any of our spotlight words in? Yes. yes. What? Tell me what you Could found. You continue. Yes. Dishonest. What else? Dishonest. Dishonest. Yeah. What else was there? Unable. Unable. Very nice. Yeah. Anything Un else? Uh, wait. Um, I think I submerge. Submerge. Mm. Yes. And you saw the prefix un. Excellent. Thank you for working so hard today. I really appreciate the good work you did. Everybody read in a nice, clear voice, paid attention, and worked very hard at finding the words and reading big words. So thank you for that. So at the end of each of our lessons, we will get to mark off one of the boxes on our points page, okay? So when you participate in lessons, you get to mark off one of those boxes. And then each time you get to five points, you get to pick a prize. So I want you to turn back to page five. So this is our points page. So it looks like this. So you're going to see a page that looks like this. Did everybody find this? Yes. Okay, great. So on this first row, you get to get a sticker and I think this time we're gonna go with green, you would put it on the very first one. Whoop, one of those just came up. There you go, the very first little guy, yes. You'll we'll put it on the guy or the present? You'll put it on the guy, because that means when you get, so each one of these, when you get to the fifth, that would be where you would get to choose the prize. Excellent work, everybody. Thank you so much.